determine the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic series. 6 plus 1 minus 4 minus 9 and so on. First of all, let's talk about the difference between series and sequence. Now, sequence is when you just list out a bunch of numbers. So for example, 6, 1, negative 4, negative 9, and so on, right? Sequence, you just list out a bunch of numbers. Now, an arithmetic sequence would just happen to be a sequence with a common difference. Okay, so for example, the common difference for this arithmetic sequence will be, well, we can go term 2 minus term 1, right? Or we can even go term 4 minus term 3, right? So whenever we try to find the common difference, we are subtracting a pair of terms. And it doesn't matter which pair we choose, as long as the pairs are right next to each other. Okay, cool. So now let's go term 4 minus term 3 then. Okay, so in this case, term 4 is negative 9 minus term 3 is negative 4. So negative 9 minus, minus negative becomes plus, right? Plus 4 is negative 5. Now if you want to double check to really make sure that this is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference. You can do one, you can find the common difference with another pair of terms, right? So now, term 2 is 1 minus, term 1 is 6, and you still get negative 5, right? See? As long as we have a common difference between each successive terms, we have an arithmetic sequence, right? So in this case, uh, the common difference is negative 5. Right? Cool. So now, what is arithmetic series? Guys, the difference between series and sequence is just series. Well, let's, let me put it this way. If you have a sequence, how do you go from a sequence to series? All you have to do is add up all the terms in the sequence. That's it. See? Check this out. If I, term 1, if I add terms, term 1, add term 2, add term 3, add term 4. Guys, isn't this an arithmetic series? Right, see? 6 plus 1 plus negative 4, which is minus 4, plus negative 9, which is minus 9, right? Yeah. So basically, series is just you add up all the terms in the sequence, then you have a series, okay? In fact, this is actually a better way to write the series. You should write the series as adding up all the terms in the sequence, okay? So instead of 1 minus 4, you should actually, it's actually better to write it as 1 plus the next term is negative 4, plus the, neg the next term is negative 9, see? So if you write it this way, it makes it more obvious to see that this is a series, right? Okay? Yeah, because you, you just basically keep adding terms, right? Okay, cool. Next. Um, so to find the arithmetic se series, well, we have to use the formula right here. Well, now, as you can see, there are two formulas to choose from, right? So I think the only tricky part about uh, Finding the sum for, for an arithmetic series is students might not know which formula to choose from. Well, let me tell you today. I'm going to call this formula number one. I'm going to call this formula number two, okay? Now, here it is. You will only use formula number two when you know the last term. When you are given the last term of you know the last term in the series okay and that's the only time you will ever want to use formula number two other than that see if the question doesn't give you 
the last term, you always want to use formula number one. Okay? Here, let me show you the difference. Okay. If you look at this question here, they ask you to find the sum for the first ten terms for the arithmetic series. Well, guys, look. The question only shows you the first four terms, right? Term one, six. Term two, one. Term three, negative four. Term four, negative nine. Does the question tell you the value for the last term, which is the tenth term in this case? No. See, then in this question, you don't want to use formula number two. You want to use formula number one. Okay? Now, let me show you another question. Now, um, in this question, guys, hey, they ask you to find the sum of this arithmetic series. Guys, right here. See, this question does tell you the value for the last term, right? For the last term in the series. Then, mm -hmm. trust me, this is the kind of question you want to use formula number two. Okay? Cool. All right, so coming back to this question. Guys, the question wants us to find the sum for the first 10 terms. So you go from term 1 to term 2 to term 3 to term 4, and you keep adding until you get to term number 10, right? And now we want to find the sum for the first 10 terms, OK? So we have to use, form, since the last term is not given, we want to use formula number 1, OK? So Sn equals n over 2 inside the bracket to, oops, 2 times the first term plus n minus 1 times d. Right? Cool. Now, the question wants us to find the sum for what? The first 10 terms. So the question wants us to find the sum for how many terms? 10 terms. Find the sum for the first 10 terms. Ah, guys. So right away, you know the n value we are going to plug in for this formula will be what? Guys, look. n must be 10, right? Yeah, so that means here n value, we're going to plug in 10. Here the n value, we're going to plug in 10. Okay? Cool. Now, let's go. So, n value, we want to plug in what? 10, right? Okay? Yeah. Over 2, guys, let me do this. 2 times t term 1 plus bracket n minus 1 times the common difference, okay? Because now I'm about to plug in the corresponding value for you know, term 1 for common difference for n, okay? Check this out. So, yeah. So n must be 10, right? So that means the n value here, I want to plug in 10. The n value here, I want to plug in 10, okay? Now, next. Now here, inside the bracket, we have 2 times the first term. So again, who is the first term in this case? 6, right? First term is 6. So term number 1 is 6. OK, next. Um, now, who is the common difference? Oh, we found the common difference to be what? Negative 5, right? Yeah, or we can go. Second term minus the first term. So 1 minus 6, we have negative 5. OK? So that's negative 5. Common difference. OK? And we're done. Yeah, see, we got all the information we need. Now we just have to do the algebra to find the sum for the first 10 terms. OK? Yeah. So the sum for the first 10 terms is 10 divided by 2, we have 5. Inside the bracket, 2 times 6, we have 12 plus, now here we have 10 minus 1, that's 9. 9 times negative 5, we have negative 45. Okay? Yeah. So, so here, 
here we have, keep going, 5 times inside the bracket, we have 12 minus 45. So we have negative um, 33, right? Yeah. And then 5 times negative 33, mental math, we should get negative 165, right? So there we go. The sum for the first 10 terms is negative 165. So that's the answer. Sum for the first 10 terms is negative 165.